A more than 12,000 seat amphitheater could soon be coming to Northeast El Paso, promising a significant economic impact, especially for that part of town. CBS 4 at 530's Harrison Parker is in the neighborhood where the entertainment venue is planned to get neighbors' reaction to the proposal. I feel like it's a, a bit overdue. We've missed out on a lot of opportunities for good shows and big events because we don't really have the space to hold it. Brittany Viescas, a local restaurant employee, said she travels multiple times a year to Albuquerque, New Mexico because El Paso lacks the proper venues. For hotel, food, um, just to explore a little bit, you're looking at easy two to three hundred. Viesca said with this venue, she'd love to spend the money here in El Paso. Notes live in the city of El Paso estimate the revenue from the project will generate $5.4 billion for the region. Viesquez thinks that money will help Northeast El Paso and her employer's income. I mean, I think that's great for business, honestly, uh, to have something so big next to us, I feel like that's going to draw in a lot more attention, especially to the Northeast area, because it's been growing a lot. Notes Live Incorporated, the developer of the project, will be funding the endeavor entirely with private money. They've built projects across the country with amphitheaters already built in similar cities. For locals like Viasquez, the benefits go beyond the performance. She's excited for a more evenly spaced entertainment scene. Because they've been adding a lot downtown, but just to have more things throughout the city is just so much better. That was Harrison Parker reporting. All but one of the seven El Paso city reps who voted on the project were in favor of the amphitheater. CBS4 asked Representative Cassandra Hernandez why she voted against the proposal. She answered by saying she's excited about the project, but added, quote, in exchange for the $30.6 million incentive package, which includes city-owned land and economic development funds, I pushed for a greater return of amphitheater usage and revenues to benefit the taxpayer, end quote. Uh, city Rep Isabel Salcido was not present at the meeting, and we asked her today if she supports the project, but we haven't heard back yet.